Hello and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And the question I'm going to look at today is, what is a data governance roadmap and do I really need one? Now, many people online, including me, will tell you that you really need a data governance roadmap. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, what is one? Does this mean it's a project plan? And I would say, no, it's not a project plan. If you've seen any of my other videos, you probably come across me saying, because I say it multiple times, data governance is not a project. Therefore, we do not want a project plan. We do not want to do anything that gives people the um, idea that this is uh, once and done, that we'll stop doing data governance and go away at a, a set point in the future. So we don't want a project plan, but we also a project plan uh, is very detailed. It will have very specific tasks by very specific dates. We just can't implement data governance that way because data governance um, is very flexible. Um, as I've already said, it's many times in the past, it's so rooted in culture change. We can't just announce we're doing data governance, publish some dates by which we're going to have perhaps data definitions um, and data quality rules and data quality reporting and, and expect that the business users will just go, oh, okay, that's fine, we'll do that by then. Because this isn't um, a project, as I've already said, is not being done by a project team. It is being done by numerous business users across your organization who have their own agendas, their own to-do lists, and we have to get them to embrace data governance amongst everything else. So a very detailed plan is just not going to work because we could spend hours, if not days, planning everything to the nth level of detail, only to find that the very first business user we share it with will tell us that they can't do that by then. So, you know, you could be thinking, well, so we don't have a plan at all. Well, if you do that, then to be fair, not much happens at all. And, um, you know, we do need to share something with both perhaps the senior executives who are sponsoring and supporting our initiative, but also the business users that we're asking to engage with us. We can't go and talk to people and say things like, well, we're going to identify data owners sometime. If we ha say useful things like that, it's never going to happen because we haven't got any impetus. We're not aiming for anything. So I find the answer to this is to have a roadmap. Now, a roadmap is a very high level plan or a roadmap. It's an idea of the direction of travel, the order in which we're going to do things and possibly with some target dates, but we're not talking very detailed granular tasks. We're talking things like perhaps we will um, complete data discovery and create some conceptual data models for, I don't know, five key business functions by the, the um, end of June. Um, and then we could say, and after that, we will then try and identify and train data owners by the end of September. So we haven't gone into a great deal of detail. We could have broken those things into much more detailed individual tasks, but we're trying to give a flavor of what we're doing, the order we're doing it, and the rough timelines. This gives us something to help articulate what we're doing and, and give us something to talk about with business users to check whether our plans meet theirs and we can then tweak our roadmap um, as appropriate. So hope that's given you an idea of what they are. And absolutely, yes, you need one. You need some kind of plan, high level, to um, to gauge what, your, what activities you're going to do and when. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like and share on your choice of social media. And um, if you've got a question for me, please just email it into questions at nicolaaskham.com.